X-Blades. Garbage. X-Blades is a hack and slash game where you play a blonde girl with a nice booty. The only redeeming quality this game has is that this booty isn't hidden. This Tomb Raider runs around in a thong. Just kidding. There's more to the game than a nice butt. X-Blades is fun to play through. You go from section to section just killing everything in your way. The sections are pretty cool and I didn't regret spending my time with this game. There's some alright bosses sprinkled in this game and enemies are varied and do force you to change up your magic spells which can be spent only when your magic bar is filled which is filled by either doing damage or taking Taking damage. Magic spells are obtained by purchasing them in menu with souls acquired by killing enemies. You can slash with blades, shoot enemies with your gun that thankfully never run out of ammo, or magic attacks. However, the execution of this game just ruins what otherwise would be a sure why not in your backlog. Instead it turns into a please don't. Enemies are varied, but they look far too similar to enemies you face later on that won't die the way you've been used to through the first half of the game. In fact, the game changes the rules on you a lot. It doesn't even warn you that the rules have changed. There's a sudden increase in difficulty and you can't understand why. Why aren't these guys you slice through dying? Why are these spiders teleporting away when you get close? Forcing you to have to trial and error your way through the second half of the game or just go to the internet? This is never a good sign. You aren't told the enemies are different now. You aren't given a quick heads up when they need to be killed a different way than before. They'll suddenly be indestructible and you're left feeling frustrated. This is the furthest from all of X-Blade's problems though. You can lock onto enemies to shoot or do a magic attack on, but 99 times out of 100, the game will lock onto another target as soon as you release your attack. The game will lock onto frozen enemies in the background a thousand times before it lock onto the enemy right in front of you. And I wish this was an exaggeration, but it isn't. The game is broken, and you see all there is to see about halfway through the game. The second half is just fighting stronger enemies in the evening versions of sections you just played through. Minus, of course, the final boss sections, which are new. I was hoping X-Blades would be one of those underrated gems that critics just didn't appreciate back in the day. But its level of trash holds true even six years later. This game has its moments of fun, but the story sucks, the voice acting is worse than Duck Dynasty, and the combat is broken. For what it is, in hack and slash action adventure games, 6 out of 10, and as an overall game, 5.5 out of 10. If you played X-Blades, tell me what you thought about it down in the comment section below. If you haven't played it, tell me if you plan on picking it up. Thumbs up, if you like the video, subscribe if you're new to this channel. And tune in Monday. First impressions, where you find out what game we're playing next. Thanks for watching.